How you doing? This is Yaakov with, with a beautiful idea and the merit of this beautiful idea. May everybody have, have illuminations for their soul constantly and to be able to receive everything the proper way. There's a beautiful rabbi here on this uh, yeshuv on this, in this place that I live in in, in Israel. His name is Ravatar. <coughs> Ravatar is basically a beautiful, uh, what do you call it? He gave beautiful ideas this past Shabbos I would love to share. One of the things he spoke about was that um, this is from the Chachamim, from the wise people and the, the Jewish people, that uh, he was quoting this idea that this coming holiday of Hanukkah, of, of the Jews defeating the Greeks and all the ideology of the Greeks and all the miracles that that the war that uh, that the victory intended it's called the <coughs> the festival of lights the festival of lights and we say that the ner shel chanukah the of the blessing to kindle the ner the candle of chanukah of Chanuka. what's the ner of chanukah ravatar asked what is it what is the candle of chanukah he said what's the light that you're lighting on Hanukkah. So you, so you light a candle. You take fire, you light the candle. That's it? He said, he said no. We're praying to God. We're asking God when we're fulfilling the commandment. Light up our soul. The, 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 the nair of Hanukkah, the candle of Hanukkah, is to ignite the soul. The physical light is represented by it. They're represented by that. So we have to understand something very powerful was a lot of it's very powerful to realize that he was saying that as well is that Hanukkah is you're, you're lighting up the darkness the holiday of your lighting up the darkness with, with, with the awareness of God beautiful ideas he's explained about it. with awareness of God with the, with the light of Hashem with the, what's the light what's the what, what, what are you what are we being aware of what, what's the light of God it's that being aware that Hashem is there with you in every moment and and that you that you are watching all the different things that he's doing, all of his deeds, and you're aware that it's only it's Hashem who's doing everything. The messenger, he's this, he's the sickness, he's the healing, he's this, everything. He's coming to help us. He's coming to show us, because we're not a body on the outside. A person suffering. On the inside, there's something going on that we can't see. We have to learn about it from the people who, who are who have who their soul dominates. Who they're, they they've been searching for their their real soul, what's happening inside, and to be able to feel, to be aware of it, to be able to have the truth on the matter, to be able to pray on it, to be able to to be clean of all of all of the nonsense of our generation and uh, of all you know of all the falsehood and all the darkness that's happening. We have to be able to recognize that on this holiday of Hanukkah that's coming up, the light is shining, illuminating the darkness. So Ravatar said, if the, when that light comes and illuminates the darkness, a person who feels that everything is fine, that there's no problems in the world, that everything is great, like, it's great and dandy, like, oh great, you just like broke your leg, went wonderful, no, 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 no. There's, a, there's an aspect of, no, you have to thank God for everything that's happening, because everything that's happening is from Him. But we're not... But we pray that everybody feels good, and we we're not trying to like live a life pretending Shalom, God forbid, like you know, uh, God a person's on like serious drugs and they misconstrue realities, you know, whatever. We're, we're not Shalom, We're not. Uh, we're not trying to. We're saying real reality. Real reality is is something where a person recognizes on the, in one pocket, I have I, I everything I need right now. And if it looks like I have something I I need, thank Hashem that I need that that I need that thing, and I'm and I and I'm requesting, and but I'm but and I'm requesting from Him what I what what I need for the future, with it, whether it's in a second from now, two seconds, or it's both, it's both, in in one pocket or you know, in, you know you have two pockets if you want that's good, but I'm saying you need both to work at the same time. The idea of thank I'm thankful for everything happening at the same time. Hashem, please illuminate the world for me so I can uh, see in all the dark places and fix all the different things that I need to fix. 
that I uh, and help me with that and be able to, to that I should feel clean in all the ways that I'm supposed to feel clean inside and out and I f- to feel that freedom to feel that 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 clarity in life I feel feel wonderful feel great feel happy so Rabbi Tar said a person who feels that everything's okay no problems whatever it is they convince themselves that everything's okay no everything's okay everything's okay no everything's okay he said Hanukkah doesn't help for that person because you have to believe you have dark places you have places that are that ha- you feel like you need Hashem you need Hashem you need the greatest miracle in those places and that's the holiday of, of, of Hanukkah the, the holiday of Hanukkah that's, com- ha- um, that's coming up where a person is able to illuminate all the darkest places and believe that as much good we have good and we're supposed to have good but also recognize this is the place time to recognize the dark places and to recognize that they're all going to be filled Hashem's going to help us they're filled up they're full of light you just have to be willing to be ready be ready when that happens be ready to be able to be open that in one moment there's a concept of math called uh, called uh, absolute value if you have six and negative and the absolute value of negative six same because even if you're on the opposite end of the spectrum, a person has the worst anger in the face of the planet, the, the worst tolerance in the world, the greatest darkness that they, that they feel like no way to change, okay? But with the absolute value, with tshuva me'ava, with, with real tshuva, with real, rep- real awareness and repentance where you, where you are, and also learn to love yourself, learn to love the, love the mistake, it's going to bring you to higher places, closest to Hashem, because in those places... You learn to rely on Hashem, the only one who can help you in those places. And fill that light up. Fill fill that place that dark place you thought was so dark, but it's really full of light. Just sometimes we're 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 uh we're not uh we're not ready to see. Sometimes we're we can't see and we have to be able to rely completely on our faith. The Zohar calls faith a blind maiden. She is a blind maiden. A beautiful blind maiden. Why? Because faith is something that, especially when it's based on truth, faith is something like, for instance, you see, you hear stories from Tzadikim, from Avram, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, and further, and the, and the prophets, and righteous people, and holy people, and now you want to go do that advice, right? That's called walking, that's faith. Learning what you learned from that person is truth, from the story, and when you do it, it's faith. It's called you walk because you're walking, you're showing. That nothing, there's a test happening before you. Yet at the same time, yet at the same time within the test, you're, you're being open. You're opening, you're open to your, you're open, uh, opening up yourself to be ready to be able to, to be a vessel for Hashem, to be able to, to make the best choice, the holiest choice during that time. And you see how the test really, even though it looked hard sometimes it was a test it opens up and it's it's like the greatest blessing in your life and you realize start to realize that the hardest thing in your life is just beckoning you to helping you really in the end to to need help and it's our job to recognize that no matter where that help is coming from that light is coming from it's it's only always it's only always directly from Hashem and it's not from anywhere else and the awareness that we're going that we're, that we're achieving when the darkness is illuminated with light with all the, all the darkest places the hardest parts of our life they illuminated with light what what one of the most important thing you can achieve you start to see what's the light is the awareness of a shem in that moment in, in each moment in each thing project uh time you know portion of your life that you're in you're seeing that Hashem is the one who's there. He's controlling everything in a positive way. It's only going in a good way. That's to help you. That's to help me. And it's only for the best. Believe it. Have a good one.